I'll do when I'm presented with a problem where I have to talk about um, that number of outcomes or the probability of, you know, in this case it's three children, a family with three children. You know, I don't always get that straight in my head. So what I'll do is I'll start with the tree diagram. It's just a way to get started. So this first boy, girl, the, the possible outcomes for the first child. And then the second column is the outcomes for the first, uh, that's what I say, this is the first child, this is the second child, this is the third child, and depending on what the first child was, you have two possible outcomes, then depending on what that outcome was, you have two possible, so that's why you end up with eight possible outcomes when there's three kids. Um, mathematically, what's happening here, and this might help you, if you have to talk about four children, or any times you have Two uh, two outcomes, and you're looking for multiples, multiple multiple ways to list them. Um, if there's two ways for each outcome to happen, just raise that two to the number of kids. So if I wanted to talk about uh, three kids or two kids for that matter, uh, two kids would be the, there'd be four possible outcomes, and here are the four outcomes. I um, can also do that with if there was three kids, it'd be two to the third, which is just 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, and there are the 8 outcomes. If there were 4 kids, there would be 2 to the 4th, which are two times two, uh, 8 times 2 is going to be 16 outcomes, okay? So now, let's wait a minute here. So all I did for this is I extended out, I went through each branch and listed the outcomes. So if the first child's a boy, second child's a boy, the third child's a boy, you get boy, 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 same thing boy, boy, girl, BBG, uh, down here it's girl, boy, boy, so GBB, okay, see what I did, so now we just got to talk about the, the probabilities, well, I know the denominator is going to be 8, because there's 8 outcomes total, so there were 3 girls, that happened one way, so 1 out of 8, 2 boys and a girl, so let's see here, 2 boys and a girl, two boys and a girl. This one is two girls and a boy. Two boys and a girl. And I think that's it. So I'm counting three out of eight. A girl, boy, and a boy in that order. I believe that's only going to be one way. Let's see. Girl first, then a boy, then a boy. Well, that only happened one way. So one out of eight. At least one girl. Okay, so that means one or better. Well, let's look at if this the easy way to do this. There's only one outcome there wasn't any girls. And that tells me there's seven of them where there was at least one girl in it. So that would be seven out of eight. We're using that complement rule here to figure that out. At least two boys. Well, it's going to work out that there's going to be two boys, or it could be three boys, excuse me. And so that tells me there's only one situation better think about this differently. One, two, three, four. I'm only counting four times where there is at least two boys. Let's see, I get this is the last one. So, three, two, two, that's a one. Two, one, one. Yeah, so I'm counting four out of eight. So I hope that helps you answer this kind of question. I'm sure my math lab is going to give you a slightly different version. But same thinking.